Hello and welcome back to another episode on the Never Stop Gaming server. Uh, we are going to do a quick update today. What is that? Oh, that's the moon. Okay. We're going to do a quick update today. Look, the moon. Hello. And I'm going to show you what I've been up to. Uh, nothing's changed up here. I mean, literally, nothing has changed up here, and that's loud. So let's turn this down. Audio, 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 music. Let's take it to 25. I know. Unprofessional to do that on camera. So, as you can see, nothing's changed over here. That hasn't changed any really. I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with that first. Uh, this, however, has changed. I've added water to it. Added the other lava blade to it. It is working. Kind of, sort of, possibly, maybe, a little bit. So, uh, I altered that too, so it's one up with a light on it. As you can see, I'm getting measly drops, but I am getting drops. Of course, I know it would be better without the water on top of it. That's okay. I'll deal with that. I'm going to leave the water up top. I really, really, truly like the idea of an underwater base. And therefore, we are going to leave it an underwater base with the water above us. This will stay. The, the work I've been working on is out here. Now, Bam was suggesting, because I'd complained about the mob farm in the last video, Bam suggested going out in the middle of the ocean. Okay. I's done that. <laughs> but that's not this video. It's not complete yet, so I'm not going to show it. I, I, mm, no. But what I do want to show is this. See, I've been working on the tunnel. I know. It's a waste of time to do the tunnel. Uh, I don't think so. I think it looks spectacular. I think it looks really, really good. Um, sort of. These are some caves I want to go through. Light them up. Mine them out. Whatever I can get out of them. There's a ravine down there, if I remember correct. Let's see. Let's find out. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. Why did that run like that? Whew. Scared the poopers out of me. Why are you not dying? Got lag from somewhere. Nope, 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 nope. Stay away. Stay away, I said. Wow. Uh-uh. No. No. Ooh. <laughs> this is not what I intended this video to be. Oh, my gosh. Gravel. Up. Up, 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 up. Okay. Yeah, that was not pleasant. So, but as you guys can see, it's a cave system down there as well. And over there that I need to finish lighting up. Uh, nope, that's not going to work. Okay. You go bye-bye. And let's put you back. Huh? There. Okay. <sighs> Hello, phone. Sorry about that. So, this is what I'm envisioning the tunnel. <clears throat> Normally, where there's open water above, I will have it glass for looks. I like it. Then we've got an offshoot there. We'll look down there here in a minute, but not yet. 
someone's over here that's not happy. So that's what I envision. Right here, we hit open water again. So what I'll do is I'll take it down to here. And then I'll start the glass. And I know there's another mountain. I hear a skeleton. I know there's another mountain over here. Right around in here. And I'll seal it up again like the other one with the white. The white, uh, diorite, polished diorite where the glass should be. And then I'll open it up like this. Now I am going to get rid of this down here. I don't care for the glass at the bottom. I thought it would look good. I really don't think it does. So, and there's the one I forgot to record. Sorry, guys. I do owe you guys one on that, and I know there's one right over there, and then there's another one right over there. So I'll get to those. I promise. Mm. Maybe the next video. We'll see. So... But that's that's what I've been working on at the moment. I've gotten quite a bit of the tunnel done, as you can clearly see. And the video is not as long as I was hoping. Where are you? Are you below me? I don't think they're this way. Yeah, they're not that way. Oops. There. Yeah, there's a cave system below me here. Okay. No problem. Take care of that in a later date. But I, I kind of like this look. I, I think it looks really good. And this is all due to Lady Lou. I would put it up and she would recommend the colors and, and the mixing it and all that stuff. And I think it's turned out spectacular. To say the least. I mean, it, it, I think it looks really, really, really good. Of course I do. But am I a little biased? Of course. But I've got every right to be. But I think it's turned out pretty good so far. Ah, uh, here an Enderman. Now, I've still got a lot of work here to do. I really do. This up here... From this point, no, this point here to there took six hours. That's mining it from the single one by two that it was into what it is. So it took some time. And by no means am I done with the with the tunnels and everything below. I will get those. Wow, eight minutes? Okay. So here's one of the side access tunnels. There'll be plenty of them. Some with wheat farms. Some with mob farms. Some with animal farms. Others with storage. I, bl I think I'm going to actually put storage in between the temple and the temple. I think I haven't made up my mind on that yet. But let's go down here. So let's look down a little bit. I don't want you guys to look up. I, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So as you guys can see, there's there's a beautiful view out there. That's where the corner is. The The corner leading to the other tunnel that goes to the temple. And as you can see, there's a beautiful view out here. Little, little hill there and, and pile of gravel here. And look, some stone. Really beautiful view. And oh, look at that. A really spectacular. Look, look, a ha half done circle. Well, a complete done circle. The start of a, uh, a, a mob farm, maybe? 
Could be. So so yeah, maybe that was maybe that was the mob farm. And then I've got one of my pointers over here showing me which way the the temple was, which is right over there. So I, I've been kind of busy. I, I I don't know if you guys can tell that. Ooh, look at that little little hill out there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um Oh, white wall. Ah, okay. I'm going to show you guys. It's not done yet, but it's getting there. Okay. This. Yes, yes, I'm not going to fall. Yes, no fall. No fall. Okay. Yeah, it's deep, guys. It's really deep. Um, This is where the mob farm's going to be. I took Bam's advice, and I put it. In the middle of the ocean. I know I don't have to dig down to make it work. I am digging down to ensure that there's no caves right below me. And it allows for a longer drop. But I'm still going to have this at least probably 60 blocks above that point right there. So it's still going to be really tall. And I'll do like I did on the other one. I'll put a water stop 21 blocks above ground zero with a platform that comes in and prevents them from dying if I want. If I want to get the experience, the platform will be active. If I don't want the experience and I just want items, I'll deactivate the platform. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet, but I'm thinking a pressure plate system would work. Would, would, Excuse me, my, my lips are a little dry. I believe a pressure plate system would work really well for that because they don't need to be hanging around if I'm not standing there. They need to just die so I don't get too big of a, a mob buildup. So that's what I'm envisioning at the moment. I'm thinking I'm going to do these rings above ground every... I don't know, 10 blocks. Just do a single ring of the uh, presmarine, presmarine bricks. And of course, I don't have any on me, do I? Nope. So we'll go with that. And then do lights as well. Now, I started doing it glass, as you can see. I I don't like it. It kind of looks nice, but it's almost too much. Because like I said before, I want to make this like a system, a piston system that pushes up out of the water. So it, it looks like this is actually, when it seals, it's level, right below the water level. And when it pushes up, I want it to make it look like it pushes up out of this and out of the water. But it needs to have structural integrity, which is what these side pieces are for. And then the ring will go around and just light up the area, kind of like a missile silo, but underwater. Down here, I'm kind of debating if I want to make it all stone, because I'm not going to have all this. I, I The granite, the coal, diorite, I can't have that. It, it needs to go away. It needs to be, I got OCD, guys. It needs to be one kind. Whether it be stone bricks all the way down with the same kind of pattern, except for instead of the, the prismarine and the, the aqua lights, it would be glowstone and, uh, stone brick inside the, the stone. I don't know yet. I was also thinking I could do granite, diorite, up and down and andersite. I don't know. I'll play around with them and see. Let me know what you guys think. A good color scheme in here would be. I am going to keep this. This looks really mechanical to me. The way it the way it's set up. So I'm thinking I might 
do cobblestone fence posts or I might do nether rack fence posts. I'm not sure. I want to see which one looks better. The nether rack probably will. I don't have any here, I don't think. I think they're all at the base. Uh, Yep, yeah, I don't have any here. But that's that's what I'm thinking for that. I don't know. I think it's a I think it's a winner. So I guess we shall see, yeah. Ooh. I know I heard noise. Look at all that. Hello. And yes, you can come in here. Come on. Come on, buddies. Yeah. Come on. Where'd you go? Oh, you're going for a swim. So, I don't know, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Oh, string. Can I get it? Boop. Got it. Run, run, run. I don't normally have this blocked off, but... uh Seeing as spiders come up from down there, I think I'm going to block it off now. But let me know what you guys think about the tunnel too. I was going to do this three wide, like I have everything else. But the mob farm kind of spoils that. Because I want the mob farm big enough to do spiders. I guess that's kind of silly because the spiders can slow themselves. Either way. I did a 2 by 2 as a platform for the mob spawner. Therefore, this also has to be an even number. This, I should have made an even number. I don't think it would have looked as good as an even number though. I think the odd number makes it look really unique. So, on that note, I do believe I should cut it. Ooh, that's got water on it, doesn't it? No. Ah, it's got gravel, though. Boop. So, okay, guys. Again, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And C-Bam, I still listen. Maybe not very well, but I still listen. So, guys, take care, and until the next video, have fun, and... Peace.